Good morning. This is version 12.3.3. This is, uh, I guess, uh, the third day I'm driving on this version. Um, the first day was horrible rain. And yesterday, uh, I actually got interrupted because someone uh, that was visiting... Um, one of my neighbors, a son that was visiting a neighbor, interfered. Didn't interfere, but stopped my uh, recording, and I kind of got out of whack there. I had devoted a certain amount of time, and that time expired. Anyhow, there is no traffic coming from the left, from what I see. And, um, anyhow... I am killing two birds with one stone today. Um, I'm having a checkup, medical checkup, just uh, as happenstance. And the nice part about it is my physician is a personal friend. We socialize together occasionally, and uh, he also owns a Tesla, and his wife owns a Tesla. And so we're going to go um, and visit one another while he gets to check me out and make sure I'm okay and uh, we get to talk uh, cars and friends stuff you know so it's a win-win now I normally go straight here and then go to another road that ties into this but for some reason, it cut loves to pick this. Uh, on the way back, we will make sure that we come back this way because this is an issue. This uh, going in that direction, making a left-hand turn, is an issue because it takes up the whole road. And most people are not turning there, so they want to go straight. So you need to not hog the whole road so they can go behind uh, go around you and FSD beta has never done that properly it takes up the whole lane so we're going to see if version 12 does that that is that is a big factor because you know while the airport circle and five points it could not do to me that's a simple little thing it's a simple left hand turn but you just have to line up on the left hand side of the lane so other people can pass you and I don't know uh, it wants to stay centered in that lane or it some versions it would go to the right to make a left hand turn like it was making a, a bigger sweep or something a broader sweep uh, anyhow it is a Saturday and um Looks like it's about 52. I think it's only supposed to get like maybe 55 today. Although being this early in the morning and only that uh, temperature, I would hope that it would get warmer. But we'll see. Okay, we're making a left-hand turn here again. This is version 12.3.3. There is a car behind us, and that's perfect. It did. It it didn't slow up too much. It didn't go too fast. It does need to go faster here, though, because the speed limit is, in fact, 35 on this side of the bridge. And when we go across this bridge, it turns to 25. I have the ability to let it go with the flow and traffic. However, I found that that was a little bit too fast sometimes um, in areas where they run speed traps. And... Um, and while I don't think you might get a ticket for 38 and a 35 or 39 and a 35, I, I'm not sure, and uh, I don't like to take that chance. Anyhow, it's done a much, much better job on this road than in the past because of un being unmarked in some areas. It just didn't know where to drive. It tried to hog the center of the lane. Uh, on the other side, it weirdly enough, it uh, one iteration, and I, I believe that was 11.4.9, um, it wanted to drive where you would parallel park in front of your house. And um, it would confuse everybody because, one, it would 
be driving on like the shoulder or the whatever and they'd start to pass you and it kind of wanted to go back into their lane all of a sudden and you know it's like yeah Yo, what are you doing this is a single lane road and you know you're trying to pass me and I understand FSD but I don't know why, why it was driving over there where it looked like it was going to slow down and park Anyhow, so far this has been an uneventful drive. Um, we need to, I think we're going to turn here in the first entrance rather than any of the diagonal. Yep, it does in fact put its blinker on early enough to let people know that you're turning and does get out of the way, which is pretty darn good. That's, this is really, really a huge improvement all over, over all other iterations of autopilot um, this is actually a usable product uh, you know it, once they get the parking uh, in a parking lot and navigating in a parking lot squared away potholes uh, avoiding potholes it does go around um, it slows for speed bumps. It does go around um, some standing water in the road. Not completely, though. Uh, they need to work on that, and they need to work on parking in parking lots. And I, I don't know. It is a really a polished product now. Uh, I'm pretty impressed. I never thought it would ever happen with, uh, with Hardware 3. Here's a Tesla, that's my friends. I'm going to try to get it to pull into one of these parking spots. Yeah, that's the way I want to go. Yeah. You're parking a little bit crooked, but I'll take that. We arrived at our destination. Thanks for watching.